Hello again, um, M here. Um, I'm going to do a quick video about um, and speak about bioforming and um, i.e. Ge the genetic change of your body and um, uh, talk about your original body and what you are now. And um, had a discussion about this with um, with my sister and um, I can't take credit for what she said and so um, credit goes to her for observing this. Um, we've spoke many, many times about um, information that's in different places, uh, the Bible, in the Genesis and um, other texts about and in Narki and Elohim and um, genetic engineering and uh, so-called Draco races who evidently came here to earth to energy harvest so basically what you are is a human being but you're more than what you think you are you are eternal essence you have unlimited power you have unlimited value um, and you have access to your unlimited power and value via your consciousness and um, you are made up of trillions of cells which are just energy and um, I have read that um, those cells are like little vortices of light um, they are macabers now there are some websites that say that the first eight cells some people refer to them as genesis cells or macabre cells eternal cells um, they are said to be located in your in somewhere around your perineum the body's um, actual center and they are there are eight cells the first eight cells of when your your body is formed are macabers and that is basically that is a, a two pyramids um, interlocked together so um, the three or the 3d star of David it's an eight pointed star and one the triangle facing downwards spins one way um, and the triangle pointing upwards spins the other way and so they they spin around really 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 fast um, which gives them the illusion of having a sphere um, or being inside a sphere. Um, I believe the earth is actually a macabre as well and um, that's what gives it the um, illusion of um, a spinning ball. I don't believe the earth's flat, although I have looked into that theory and it is very convincing it's just a plane of reality at the end of the day planet um, T is the Latin word for um, plane or planet um, and so anyway these eight cells that you are born with they stay with you your whole life unlike apparently all the other cells they don't die and renew, they just stay, they are eternal, they do not die and um, they stay with you your whole life until you are dead. Okay. So, we were told that, or the so-called truthing community, growing people, uh, you know, a group of people who are so-called waking up, say that oh we're energy harvested they're, they're ha the system is um, harvesting our energy so yes it does appear that way and they want you to you were changed and you became a lesser being no 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 so what my sister pointed out was that she said em i was thinking about it and she said why if they, if you had this un limited energy and you were that powerful why would they change you into a lesser being and then harvest the lesser energy if they can't copy your being they being um uh et races 
evidently I've never met with an ET so I don't know for sure that they exist I've never seen although I've read lots of material about it I've never seen a shapeshifter and um, nobody has ever revealed to me that they are from um, somewhere else and they consciously remember it. nobody personally um, although there are things that I can't account for um, things that I think sometimes and I'm not quite sure why but that's another story so um, so anyway if beings other beings that weren't human couldn't copy and change their selves their own genetic blueprint to be the same as ours then how could they have the technology to change our blueprint to make us less so yeah my sister tiffany said that to me so um and we had a um a lovely little discussion about that and um we came to the conclusion together that you were probably mind controlled to think that you were less but you never were in other words no genetic engineering ever went on and no bioforming no uh, changes genetically ever happened to you all of your cells not just the first eight all of your cells are macabres always have been and they give you that eternal unfettered um value and un, un, that access to all of that value you you have a you are a collection of um trillions of tiny macabres vortices of light you are light and um you've just been mind controlled into thinking that you're less but you're not you're not less what would be the point in making you less if they wanted all this energy they would want to get the most out of you so to change you why would they go to the trouble of changing you to be less or when all they had to do was mind control you because humans are really 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 easily hypnotized i mean you just have to turn on the television um, to know that you can hypnotize a human you just have to put bbc news on and well they're well away believing everything that they see and hear with their with their physical eyes and their physical ears um, but when you actually go into your heart you realize that there is a lot more to it so um so in that case what it means is that if there are other et races who have been harvesting your energy it means that you've just got hypnotized into forgetting what you are um, and what you were what you were what you are um, now so um, so you were a being of light with unlimited value and you still are a being of light with unlimited value and you are still able to utilize that you are able to use the power is in your hands you are able to to use that to abracadabra if you will focus intent bring an experience out of your heart into the physical to um to experience now some people think that um ascension is is not going to happen it's you know where are you going to go well you're not going to go anywhere physically you're going to change your state of being this is really what ascension is it's an expansion of consciousness and um you're you're literally um you're literally just expanding you're getting bigger your consciousness is growing 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 and um and so you know that you control everything you direct the energy you can put your your focus and your intent and when you can do that the earth is still going to look the same 
but it isn't the same. And when you've expanded your consciousness enough to know that, everything changes. Your perception changes because you know that you're still on Earth. You're not going off in a, a, a spaceship to another world or lifting up and growing wings and flying off to uh, to somewhere else to heaven or you know whatever it is um, some paradise or whatever but when your state of being changes you can be in paradise you can have heaven on earth when your state of being changes when your consciousness expands and when you you don't pay energy to what isn't so um so yeah that was um that was a really important conversation that we had and um i thought that um that i would share that because i think it is it it, it, it is mind control you're not any less um really interesting just slightly related there was a really um great video on youtube by a russian guy and it's entitled no forests on flat earth but it's not about flat earth but um it's about giant ancient trees and um there's lots of tree well, well there's lots of rocks around the world which um have a tabletop uh flat uh top to them so there's the Devil's Tower at Wyoming, there's Tabletop Mountain, I think that's Australia, there's all around the world, there's loads, China, Thailand, um, Ireland, you've got Devil's Causeway, um, loads of little hexagonal um, pattern of rocks going through the sea, which are really just cellulose fibres. So um, it's a really interesting documentary and basically what the guy's saying is that um, these rocks were ancient trees and they were super high some of them were like 60 miles high and um it's such a super documentary it came out about three or four years ago and um just the other day um there was um news about uh, the devil's tower in wyoming and evidently the park rangers um were doing some work at the base of the tower and um, they detected a root system which is uh, seven miles wide and uh, 4.2 miles deep or the other way around anyway that's basically i'm pretty sure it was um, seven miles wide and, and four deep so um it might might have been the other way around anyway um the point is is that scientists mainstream science is now saying that the devil's tower is um in wyoming is the stump of an ancient tree so um so what i would say is that even though you weren't genetically changed your oxygen got cut because all of these giant ancient trees were cut down at some point and um by who your guess is as good as mine um i don't remember at this point so um that's one to go in and um and find the data on because it is all in your heart but i just thought that was very interesting and um so what I'm basically saying to you is that you are a very powerful being of light and you control your reality all by yourself and you can do it unconsciously or you can expand and you can do it consciously and um, if you do expand and you do do that consciously then you choose experiences to, um, to be good because at this point we're not up for experiencing pain or um or suffering anymore so i just really wanted to get that over to you so what i would probably do is um go in and sit and close your eyes and go into your heart 
and um, and find that data because it is there um, that's just my perception of it and um, it makes perfect sense to me that you know if you were such a powerful being why would you and you was harvesting the energy of such a powerful being why would you want to make that being less powerful before you harvested the energy it just doesn't make sense so um it wouldn't make sense to do that rather um but that data does make sense to me so um so yeah so i thought i'd share that i did say i would and i haven't got around to to, to doing it until now but um food for thought so um please um if you if you find the information interesting then um, please do uh, click your notifications on and um, subscribe and to the channel and uh, and share the, this video because a lot of people do want to see this data and people are remembering more and more every day um, because as I said it is just a case of remembering we do have all the data of um, humanity's history and earth's history it's all within our hearts we don't need anybody on the outside to tell us. We just have to go in and um, and get that data. So um, you can go in into your heart space and, and find that. And maybe other information might turn up to you which resonates. If it does, then leave me a comment and um, a link or you know anything like that. That that'd be good. So um, yeah, bye for now and. Um, uh, all good wishes to everyone. Take care. Bye.